All right, I'm going to show you guys how to make that textured pattern in Fusion 360 that you saw in the thumbnail of this video. And I'll preface this by saying that I didn't practice this and I do not make tutorials very often. So, uh, and I'm not going to edit this very heavily. So I may misspeak and I might fumble through some of this, but um, I'll give you the general idea of how to do this. Uh, it's really not that hard. There's just a few um, key steps. And I won't make the whole jar. Um, I'll just make a, a cylinder and then show you how to put that texture around the cylinder. And then, of course, you can make it into a container or a jar if you want to. So, so the first thing we're going to do is make a little sketch. We'll do 60 millimeters. Finish the sketch. And we'll extrude this up by 60 millimeters. Okay, so there's your basic cylinder. You can also just go up here and create cylinder. Um, that's probably the easier way to do it, but I'm used to this way. So, okay, so now we are going to make, oops, let me go back. We're not going to do a sketch. What we're going to do is create a torus on this front plane. And we'll kind of make it off to the side here. And we'll zoom in. And let's make it about four. And we'll make this maybe, eh, let's do uh, 34. Let's do four. And maybe the torus diameter two. Eh. That looks okay. Let's keep it like that. And you can make this any size you want. I'm just kind of playing with it. It'll kind of depend on the size of your uh, vase or, or uh, cylinder, whatever you're putting this on. So the next thing we do need to do is we need to be able to put this on the point, on a point of this here at, pretty accurately. And there's no lines on this. So a really easy way to do that is to, I'm back. Sorry, I had to cut. I had a phone call. And like I said, I'm not going to redo this. <laughs> so, um, okay, I've got my torus and we need to make a line uh, here so we can kind of snap this torus to the outside of this line. And so we, how we want to do that is do a split face. So um, we want to select the face of this and go to split face. And how we're going to split this face is through the origins, through the planes. So I like to make sure the front is facing forward. Splitting tool, we're going to click and hold and if you click and hold and then let go you can pick so we want that x y y z face so click that and then it's splitting the face hit okay okay so to get this pattern to be kind of like um, I guess I don't know if corrugated is the word but to be uh, not just all straight we actually need two lines that then we can subdivide this whole uh, cylinder with so I chose 18 degrees because uh, 18 degrees gives me an even number of 20 and then I'll kind of explain then I can do another pattern of 30 which will go right in between that so uh, I'm gonna hide the body for a second and what I'm gonna do is go into construction plane and I'm gonna do a plane at an angle we're gonna pick the z-axis here and I kind of want to get it to be in line with the plane that we just used. So there's there's right in line, 90 degrees. So I want to move it 18 degrees. So that would be, what, 72? So negative 72. Then hit OK. So there's our new plane. Let's bring this body back. And now we're going to do that split face again. So I'm going to select both of these faces. Go to split face. The splitting tool. Let me hide this body. The splitting tool will be this. Bring that body back. And then we'll hit OK. So now we have two lines here. So let's move this into position. Actually, before I do that, um, so I just hit M for the move tool. And I want to make sure this is on bodies. And I want to make a copy of this. So right here, I'm going to create copy. And I'm going to move this just so we have two copies. And hit OK. And then for this body, let's go make sure it was selected. So this body here, I'm going to hit M for move again. And I'm going to go up to this point right here, which is basically, it's going to move this from a certain point, so right in the center. 
and then we go up here and click this point and it moves it right in line with that and if we zoom up sorry I'm doing this on a laptop so my oh, there you can see it's right in the center of it so now what we can do is move um, this down a little bit so let's go to translate and we'll move it down let's see what was this three inches so so at three millimeters and let's give ourselves a little space so maybe four millimeters so let's hit OK and if we rotate again you can see it's right there on the edge okay so now what we can do is make a row of these toruses or tori or however you would say it so you're gonna select it go up to create pattern on a path the object is already selected so now we're gonna click on path and we want to go down and it'll click Let me, let's go to the front view again it'll click in the center at least it should let's just go down well, I guess it's not quite clicking in the center might have to guess at this so looks like about 56 is what we'll need oh yeah because remember up top we had uh, it down four and this is the this cylinder 60 total so we only want to go 60 minus four and then what we want to do there's only three here now so if we go to quantity sorry it's kind of hard to see probably on this computer there you can kind of see it a little better so let's do let's do seven of them so hit okay so there's our seven of them and hopefully that looks pretty centered I think it does okay so now we're gonna pattern this all the way around the cylinder so I want to select all these so I'm gonna come over here and go body hold shift and click this body that selects all of them we're gonna do another pattern create pattern and I'm gonna go circular pattern this time so we already have the object selected and now we're going to do the axis is going to be this circle. So you can just click the rim of this circle. Oops, I have this one selected, which I do not want to do. So what's this one? Um, this is body three. So I'm going to move body three up. So we just want, and so this is the cylinder. So here's our torus, torus, same thing. Create pattern, circular pattern, select the axis. And we're going to go on this rim and there we go so um, I'm gonna hit 20 but you can see with 20 here's our other line we're gonna use it actually lines up with this and we don't want that so if we do 30 and eh, that's gonna be pretty close so you know what? this actually might look kind of cool so you see how 30 because we use the 18 degrees which is divided by 20 one of these has to be an odd number and one of these has to be an even number. So I wonder if we did 15. I don't think that'll line up. Nope. So we got to do 30. So if we hit OK, now you can see this actually might look really good. It's right in the middle here. So when we, when we move this one to this point and then bring it down to center, they will all be kind of staggered with each other. So this is where fusion gets really buggy. Um, it does not like dealing with all of these bodies so you definitely don't want to do this next pattern without without getting rid of some of these bodies so remember this is this body three is this torus so we don't want to mess with this and this is the body so we're gonna do a union here um, I'm gonna do union and actually we're gonna subtract so the target body is the cylinder and then the tool body which is already selected I'm gonna click on the first um, Taurus scroll all the way down and then shift click on the last one and then I'm gonna do operation is cut and then I don't need to keep tools so I'm gonna get rid of that and then I'm gonna hit OK now what that did obviously is just cut all of those little Tauruses out of here so now we only have two bodies so fusion should be okay with this so we're going to move this one over here but remember this this is 18 degree rotation here so this torus i'm going to hit m for move 
and we're going to do rotate. Oops, make sure we're on bodies. Click on the torus. Oh, the axis. Uh, we'll do this one. So, sorry, I would have I would have had to click the axis. So we'll we'll just do free move. So, um, we're going to rotate this 18 degrees. So we'll type in 18. Perfect. So now when we at, do a move, it'll line up uh, with this line perfectly. So let's hit the move tool again, and we're gonna—it's on body. So let's, oops, let's do point tool, point to point. So click the select origin point right there. Select the line right there. Okay. So we'll hit. Okay, and I suppose we needed to move this down, so I'm going to get to the front view. Well, I guess I'm not on front view because I'm 18 degrees over. So we want to move this again, and I don't know if we have to move it again. We're just going to kind of guess. Looks like this is going to be these circles are these torsos are going to be way too big, but this might look pretty cool. Let's see how this is going to look. If that looks centered, minus eight doesn't look quite centered. Let's go minus nine. I'm sure there's a way to mathematically figure this out, but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna just gonna kind of wing it. It must just be eight. I don't know. For some reason, that doesn't look that doesn't look centered to me. But let's try negative eight point two five. There, that actually looks pretty good. That looks about right. So let's hit OK. And again, like I said, you may want to actually spend some time working out the math of how you have to move these. I'm just kind of guessing. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to do a pattern. So create pattern on path. We've already got our object selected, so the path will now be this one. And let's move it down. And again, I'm going to just kind of eyeball it and then see where we're at. So that looks about right. So maybe at about 51.5 we'll do. And that's probably going to be right on the money. Hmm, that doesn't quite look right. What's 75 look like? Sorry, this is going to probably look awful because I don't have this this figured out. What's 60 look like? Let's just do 51.6. Oops, got to go back into that because I forgot to change how many of them. So let's go with six of them again. So hit OK. And now we've got all of those there. And just like last time, we can click on all of the bodies. And where's this body? So let's make this easier here. So body three, all of them are selected. So we're going to go create pattern, circular pattern, select our axis here and 30. Well, I guess we do just keep it at 30. I guess we could have just kept the same number. Or I'm sorry, no, 30 would be right because we moved over 18 degrees and so now all of them move over 18 degrees. So we'll hit OK. That looks crazy. So then just like last time, we're going to do a union where we subtract these. So we're first going to select our cylinder. And then we're on our tool body. We're going to click on the first one, scroll all the way down again to the last one, hit shift, click. And we are going to subtract. So hit OK, subtract. And there you go. Here's our pattern. That looks crazy and awful because I didn't do my math right. But that's a funky looking pattern. But you can see they're inset. And Man, that's trippy. That gives you some crazy 
And when you're 3D printing, of course, you have to make sure you don't have any of these like super harsh overhangs. That one actually might print okay because it's just, these are so small. Um, there you go. From here, you can do a little shell, maybe like two millimeters. This is probably gonna freak out because of all this patterning. So you probably wanna shell this out before this pattern that's gonna freeze on me. But that's pretty much the Sorry, end of it. I had to cut again. Um, I tried to shell this out with this pattern on that um, outside and that is not a good idea. So if you do plan to make this into a, um, a cup or a jar, make sure you get the form of that done first. Now you can go back. So this is where we made um, the cylinder, so you can take this little history uh, marker and go all the way back here. Then you can shell it out, and we'll do like three millimeters and hit OK. Now you can drag this all the way back, and our pattern, it may, it may have to calculate it a little bit, and there, now our pattern's back. Shut off our origin so we can see in our construction planes. Um, it's, I'm doing this one-handed because I'm holding my baby. So um, let's go constrained orbit. There you go. There's our pattern. And I was thinking too while I was um, uh, waiting for my computer. <coughs> while I was waiting for my computer to not die, um, you can actually go back to this timeline here. So you can double-click this. And if you want, you can change... Um, I think you'll be able to change this. Let's go, let's go three and two. So you can see how much smaller that made that. So now if I hit OK, it'll probably recal. See, now it just made that smaller. Um, and looks like I did get the uh, my math pretty close because that looks pretty even to me. And that was just kind of with guessing. So actually, let's go back and let's go. I like that four, so it's larger. And let's go like 1.5 and then hit OK. All right, so yeah, anyways, you can kind of you can kind of play around with this and but that's how you get that pattern. Man, that's really funky.